Hello everyone. Um, for today, I think I am going to finish putting on the um, throttle setup. I still keep thinking about uh, the drivetrain setup at its current state. So I don't know if I'm going to play with it this weekend. I'm still thinking on my plan of attack. I, I know what I'm going to do to get the clutch finished, but um, as far as ratios and sprockets go, I think I have some uh, decisions to make as far as that goes, and as well for the brakes too. So I, I think I'm going to hold off on that stuff for this weekend. Um, just do some simple stuff. Um, get the um, get the rest of the um, cable attached to the uh, carburetor and everything. So stay tuned for that. Wow. Who would have guessed that um, making a throttle linkage could have been so complicated? As I was welding on this bolt up to the shroud here, um, I just kind of did one of those blind weld deals and completely missed and put a big hole in the, uh, in the shroud here. So I had to take the shroud off to make sure I didn't, first of all, melt anything onto the flywheel because that would have caused problems. And second of all, I'm going to have to get a piece of filler metal now and fill that in a little bit. So I had to take the seat off to get the shroud off and all this other crap. Um, I'll explain how this, um, how my uh, throttle setup is going to work here in a second. But uh, just let me get this all cleaned up and I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know what, what's going on. Alrighty, fix my welds up. Now it's gonna, I'm going to put this back on and get the uh, throttle linkage together. All right, so here's this bolt I welded on. If you can remember what this is, um, this was off the chain idler tensioner that used the skateboard wheel that I only used for like a day and I realized wouldn't work. So I modified it to work with what I needed. Um, yeah. Throttle hookup is over here. This is the carburetor. Um, this is the original um, linkage piece. And I drilled a little hole here. And this is the re return spring that's off the governor. I won't be using it anymore. So I'm gonna. This is gonna be my return spring. I'm gonna hook it up um, over here somewhere with whatever. Um, and then I have. Here's the. Um, this was the clutch cable. Whenever I had the clutch on the steering arm thing, um, I'm just gonna reuse it. Uh, I have to. I have to cut it down a little bit, but I can use that right angle. Uh, piece that I used, and the cable will run right to the, will run right to here. So when I step on the gas pedal, it'll pull it, or push it, or whatever. Here, uh, th this is idle. Yeah. So then it'll pull it back to here. So there you have it. So now I just got to finish hooking the rest of it up. Okay, this is a very uh, important piece of information here. Uh, for right now, with my setup. I just have the governor sitting off to the side here, the governor arm. I, later I am going to remove the governor arm and the internal components for the governor because it's not, I'm running my engine right now ungoverned which will, uh, it'll ultimately give me uh, more power, uh, it'll better power delivery so um, I'm going to remove this and actually remove it internally at a later date in time so all right looking pretty good here so I got this uh, little connector piece that swivels um, here's my return spring just uh, looped around I have some mechanics wire looped around to the back of the carburetor here um, and you can see the linkage that actually goes into the carburetor sorry for the light conditions here there you go you can see it all a little better so and then um, I have the uh, actual throttle cable itself bolted down here. I have this fitting that is, um, it has that the right angle tube piece. Um, just kind of squished it together here. It's holding it on pretty good. Then see the um, got the cable runs back up to the pedal here and.
So there you go. There's a there's a throttle kit all in one. Uh, I got a lot going on this weekend, so this might be all I get done for this time. So I um, I thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time.